Welcome back to our sessions on uh, differential uh, calculus in the very first uh, module. Uh, uh, last time, uh, we understood what is meant by a function and we also saw several examples of functions, how to graph them. A graph of functions, I showed you a graph of polynomials, trigonometric functions, exponential function, their combinations, that means how do I add x square and sin x? If I add, what happens to the curve? These kind of things, I gave you examples. Uh, today, I want to, I also last time told you roughly how y changes with respect to x. Recall, a function is the relation between y and x. Means if x changes, y changes. That's essentially what a function is. It's a relation between y, variable y and variable x. Now, I want to capture the change in y with respect to change in x at different values of x. What does it mean? It means think of one function, any function. That means you must think of a graph. Now, as the x coordinate changes, y values will change. Now, somehow I want to capture how does y change with respect to x. That's what I want to do. So you must have already done this in your PUC. So I'll just very briefly recall this. It's so important that I can't leave it. So I will explain, I'll not explain in full detail, but I'll try to give you the idea what is required for this course. So uh, usual notation, f of x is the function. And at x naught, that means at a particular value of x, I want to find, I want to define what is derivative of f of x at x naught. This is defined as ratio of change in f to change in x. Ratio means something by something. So what is that? What is it in the numerator? Change in f. That means if x changes from x naught to something else, don't bother about tending to zero right now. We will come to it. Fix up some value of x, which I'll call it x naught. Change it to something nearby, say x naught plus h. Then f will have a value at x naught plus h and x naught. That is f of x naught plus h and f of x naught. The difference between these two is the change in f. f of x naught plus h minus f of x naught. I've written it here. Don't read all the limits and other things. Just see the numerator of this f of x naught plus h minus f of x naught. This is change in value of f when x changes from x naught to x naught plus h. Uh, let me repeat this. f of x naught plus h is the value of f at x naught plus h. f of x naught is value of f at x naught. This difference will tell me, this difference means f of x naught plus h minus f of x naught will tell me change in f when x changes from x naught to x naught plus h so numerator is change in f when x changes from x naught to x naught plus h and denominator is change in x change in x is how much it changed from x naught to x naught plus h so change is h that is x naught plus h minus x naught which is h so you take this ratio f of x naught plus h minus f of x naught f of x naught divided by h now this is the crucial point limit h tending to zero means i want to make h as small as possible so this is a very uh, cunning word i must say uh, i won't have energy to tell the precise meaning of it but i hope you understand what it means to say h becomes zero that means x naught plus h will come closer and closer to x naught i'll show you in an illustration so this ratio, if this limit exists and unique, because there are two ways in which h can become zero here, I will not go into these left hand limit, right hand limit and things like that. So this limit, if it exists, I'll call that limit as 
f dash x naught that is derivative of f of x at x naught is defined by this change in value of f divided by change in value of x as the change in value of x tends to zero this is the definition of derivative you must have you must have seen all this in your puc geometrically also you must have seen this is the slope of the tangent to y equal to f of x curve at x naught comma y naught what does it mean let me illustrate this using geogebra that hopefully that's a very important aspect so i'll uh, hopefully you will understand it better now let us take some function here i have taken y equal to x square plus 4 don't see this part this portion this is the algebra window if you don't know geogebra you will get more confused so don't see this part see only the geometry part of course i need to keep this algebra part because i need to control this so i will need this but you should be seeing this i will minimize it even further you see mainly the geometry part which is here so we we understand all this we understand this is xy coordinate uh, xy plane i have an x axis here and a y axis here this is called cartesian plane in that i had taken some function i call this y is equal to x square by 4 sometimes i'll use f sometimes i'll use y you have to get used to both because calculus has several different notations you have to get used to everything in my definition i gave you f but here i'm giving you y that's okay i want you to get used to these different notations so y equal to x square by 4 is this curve we all understand what it means that means if you pick a point say 3 x equal to 3 you put 3 square is 9 9 by 4 is some 1 point something something a 2 point something something so at 3 you see the value of the uh, value of y at 3 is 2 point something so 3 comma 2 point something is a point that's a point on the curve like this you keep changing 3 to 4 4 if you change it will become 4 square by 4 which is also 4 so 4 comma 4 x coordinate is 4 y coordinate also 4 so that point i mark you know how to graph a function i told you last time now uh, i want to pick some point so let me pick uh, no i'm not picking some point i'm taking some value of x coordinate say x coordinate i've taken it to be 4 when x is x coordinate is 4 y coordinate is of course 4 uh, so that's what is mentioned here see x coordinate is x value is 4 then y value is 4 4 square by 4 and then i will that i will mark this point as a here is the point 4 comma 4 this is x coordinate is 4 y coordinate is 4 so this is the point a which gives me a point on the curve this is what i want to play with and now i want to pay, pick another i want to change x to i told you i want to basically i want to what i'm trying to do is i want to capture how this curve uh, why how if you take different points on this curve uh, no let me just gather my thought i'm sorry you know, what i want to do is i want to find differentiation of I mean derivative i'm trying to explain what it means is you take a value of x you find out what is the y coordinate on this curve at that point and change x coordinate a bit and see how y coordinate changes and derivative is the ratio of change in y divided by change in x as this change becomes smaller and smaller that's what i want to illustrate so uh, here i have already taken one point a which is you know x i have taken four and y is also four there and this is the point under consideration now i will change the x coordinate of this a a bit so obviously if i change the coordinate of a it will not no more be a it will be some other point so i'll take some point near d near uh, c which i'll call uh, d so that means x coordinate is five point something now uh, how much has x changed this much is how much it has changed you can see a line segment here this much cd is the change in x coordinate uh, and then at d y coordinate is this much 
that means a d whatever d is 5 point something you substitute 5 point something in x here so 5 point something square divided by 4 is something 7 point something 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 so the, that point is uh, this is that point mm, just one minute uh, this is the point d f d with the y core x coordinate d y coordinate f the point is b and uh, just one minute i want to uh, what is the change in y coordinate there is this much when x coordinate changed this much y coordinate changed this much this is what i want to convey when x coordinate changed this much y coordinate changed this much how do i know this uh, let me explain when i took x coordinate as this i got this point a how did i get this point a you saw whatever x coordinate i took four i took i'll substitute that in this equation this curve and i get the y coordinate i plot x comma y so four comma four is how i got a now i change the x value a bit a bit means you know i, I can change any amount as you can see I change very little as I change x coordinate, you can see y coordinate is also changing according to this curve. This curve, this equation will decide what is the value of y once you give value of x. So here you see as the value of x is changing, I'll get different values of y. This is what a function means. Now what I am interested in is how does, what is the ratio of change in y divided by change in x as change in x becomes zero that means as d comes closer to c what happens to this ratio that is precisely what we are trying to figure out so let us see that uh, one minute there is uh, g b is done i can't see g earlier here so this point i'm sure you can understand this point this is x coordinate of d and y coordinate of e this is the uh, point this is the point uh, so let me write it in a better way i think i need to keep seeing algebra window otherwise i won't know what i'm doing mm, just show me this so you understand this this bg is same as fe fe is same as bg because and you can see from the figure that is how i have drawn bg fe is the change in y coordinate which is same as change uh, which is same as bg i have just drawn line i mean i have not drawn the line but you can see there is a line parallel to x axis passing through f and that will meet the curve at b similarly line parallel to x axis passing through e will meet curve at a but it will meet this perpendicular at g and similarly i'll get this segment which is telling me change in x coordinate what i'm trying to tell you is change in x coordinate is this much change in y coordinate is this much now i want to bring both these together together means i want to draw a triangle in which both these are sides of a triangle in fact a right angle triangle because anyway angle between this segment and this segment is 90 degrees so all i have done is i pushed this segment here and i pushed this segment here that's all i have done so this is a right angle triangle uh, in this right angle triangle uh, what i want to know is what i want you to understand is bg is change in y coordinate and ag is change in x coordinate at x means when b is moving around you see you can see that i wanted to get a feel for it i am not writing too much definitions i want you to understand as x coordinate is changing d is the x coordinate y coordinate is f is also changing you can come this side also it doesn't matter you can even go this side it doesn't matter all i'm trying to tell you is as x coordinate is changing y coordinate is changing how much are they changing here in the figure you can see bg is the change in y coordinate and ag is the change in x coordinate when this is the case what i want is I want to check what happens to this ratio that means this bg divided by ag as b comes closer and closer to a 
you see you if you draw a line segment a b let us draw a line segment let us draw a line segment it will be a bit uh, 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 what do you say you see you can't really see it as a line segment in this uh, you will see you know you can see there is a small line segment here there is a line segment a b now as b come closer to a as b comes closer to a what happens to that line segment it becomes shorter but uh, i will even change a bit i will not draw the line segment instead of that i will draw it as a straight line take a straight take the straight line passing through a and b let us you know just for few minutes consider this so as b changes you can see what is the line ab you can also see what the how the coordinates are changing x coordinate and y coordinate are changing how they are changing you can see as b moves across the curve how does b moves across the curve means x coordinate is changing basically x coordinate is changing correspondingly y coordinate is changing always bg is the y change in y coordinate ag is change in x coordinate now what i want to know is what happens to that tan, uh, the, the uh, line, straight line as b comes to a you can see it's actually tangent when b is b becomes a you can see that line is actually a tangent correct you can see that uh, i mean you can prove that also math algebraically geometrically you can see this that is what i am interested in so that tangent is precisely this is the tangent i will now remove this uh, line so this uh, as you uh, know that line can be there it doesn't matter so that line ab will become my tangent at a as b comes closer and closer to a now i told you i want to know the ratio of this versus this ratio of bg versus ag what is bg versus ag you see when this b comes very close to it this line is actually the tangent so what i am interested in is tan of this angle because tan of this angle you see what i have shown you just now on the uh, figure this angle is same as this angle because this line ag is parallel to x axis so this angle is same as this angle and tan of this angle is bg by ag so tan of this angle is same as bg by ag understand this point this angle what i have written here bag angle bag is same as this angle which is written here that is because ag is parallel to x axis now the ratio i am interested in is in bg by ag that means in this right angle triangle opposite side divided by uh, adjacent side which is tan of this which another definition for this is slope tan of this angle is slope of this line tangent i know in this figure it is bg by ag and as b becomes closer to a that bg by ag is becoming more and more uh, b is coming as b is coming towards a this line ab is becoming tangent at a tangent to the curve and slope of the tangent to the curve is precisely the ratio of change in y coordinate by change in x coordinate that's what i want to explain so differentiation essentially captures slope of the tangent to the curve which means if i want to say derivative of this curve at a it means i'm asking what is the slope of the tangent to the curve at this point both are same so remember derivative is change in y coordinate divided by change in x coordinate as change in x coordinate becomes zero so as change in x coordinate becomes zero this change in y coordinate bg by ag will come uh, b as b comes closer and closer to a 
the straight line AB will become the tangent at A. So this opposite side by adjacent side is nothing but tan of this angle. Tan of this angle is called, rather slope of this line is precisely defined to be tan of this angle. So what you have learned algebraically and geometrically, they are coming together. That's why it may be a bit confusing. Think over carefully. Uh, derivative of this curve at this point is precisely tan of this tangent. So that's all. Uh, this is what I wanted to explain in differentiation. So the upshot of this is that differentiation geometrically this number see we took change in y coordinate by change in x coordinate as x co uh, change in x coordinate becomes zero this quantity is basically slope of the tangent to this curve y equal to fx at x naught y naught so i illustrate this using geogebra so this uh, interpretation is very important for you all through in your engineering it's a very fundamental thing not just engineering anywhere you see any any kind of thing you study which uses some basic calculus you need to understand and appreciate that uh, derivative definition of derivative is nothing but this uh, algebraic limit uh, which turns out which turns out to be this geometrical concept of slope of the tangent now i won't have energy to how do i compute this if you give me a function how do i compute this now i will not tell you all those things how to compute now because this is not the forum for that. You must have learned it in your class 12, uh, 11 or 12. Now, what I will do is, it's very useful to remember derivatives of standard functions. They're called table of derivatives. You can see on the internet, so many sites are there which will give you table of derivatives. When you are class 12 book, 11 book, you open, you will see uh, table of derivatives. These are some of the uh, very easy, uh, easily available uh, websites where table of derivatives are given. Uh, Paul's online notes also gives. This is a very important resource. I think a lot of our uh, VTU students will benefit a lot by typing. Just you type Paul, I purposely not given the website. You type Paul's online notes. Uh, you will uh, reach a place which will give you a lot of information about all the mathematics you are studying in maths 1, 2, 3, 4, all four courses. So please uh, treat this with respect and try to go through this website in detail so anyway what i want to tell you is here is one small table of derivatives i have prepared these are the functions and derivatives which are needed for this course but doesn't mean that you don't need anything else we need many more but for this course this is sufficient so what does it say i'll read it out once if f of x is x power n we saw examples like this x square x cube and things like that the derivative of x power n is nx power n minus 1. Derivative of sin ax is a cos ax. Derivative of cos ax is minus a sin ax. Derivative of tan x is secant square x. Like this, you have a table of derivatives. In, you know, various function, I have written function in this column, derivative in this column. It continues. This is another set of functions. This is their derivatives. You know all these things from your class 12. You have to remember these derivatives of these functions very well. Otherwise, you won't be able to solve most of the problems. Even from an examination point of view, it's very important. And in real life point of view, it's very, very important. So now I have to talk about polar coordinates. I think uh, I will stop here for today. So today what we have learned is importance of derivatives we have seen uh, what is uh, 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 definition of uh, derivatives uh, rather not we have saw definition and also geometric interpretation for derivative as slope of the tangent of the function at a given point of course if i change point a it will become something else the slope tangent slope of the tangent will also vary but all the story i told will still remain the same Please play around with GeoGebra, you will find very many nice things. So I hope we I have conveyed to you that derivative of a function is nothing but slope of the tangent at that point, derivative at a point. So you collect or der derivatives of all points, that itself is a function. Means if you keep changing the x coordinate, 
you see the figure c is changing now at different values of c my slope of the tangent is different so this itself defines a function from x axis a new function that function is called derivative and we know derivative of standard function sin x is cos x and cos x is minus sin x x power n is nx power n minus 1 and there are very elementary properties of derivatives like sum of derivative of sum of functions is sum of derivatives that means x square plus 3x cube x square plus x cube derivative of this is derivative of x square plus derivative of x cube derivative of x square plus sin x is derivative of x square plus derivative of sin x like this you know you can do many things e power x plus sin x derivative of this is derivative of e power x plus sin x is derivative of e power x plus derivative of sin x so derivative is a thing which can eat through plus you understand what eat through means means they can just they, it splits over it distributes over addition subtraction multiplication what happens you know product rule you know duv is u dv plus v du or Leibniz rule so like uh, quotient rule also you know i won't have time energy to show tell all these things please recall all these things properties of derivatives it will be needed very much to solve problems uh, so i hope i have explained the importance of derivatives in uh, today's class uh, i'll continue again sometime later okay bye